everyone. I thought I'd come back on. It's um, it's rather late here at night. Uh, I had another suggestion about this this um, craft paper, and I had a question. The as I said, this side here is a mat, so that's just like a normal brown paper bag, okay? This side here has got a really high shine on it. Let me see if there, see? That's got a really high shine, but it's not tacky. It just feels like um, you're running your hand over, I don't know, like a plastic bag or something. But what I come back on for, uh, Sue from Art, Craft and Journals just uh, said um, to try it on fabric. So that's what I done. And look at this, guys. It's stuck. That's just, this is a cotton fabric. And like I'm giving it a good squish. And that, to me, that is totally stuck on there. Okay? So it works well with a cotton fabric. This one here, this little piece here that I've got, it's a cotton fabric, but I've just, see, I've just rolled up the edges then on that one. And I can pull this one off like that. Um, this one, this cotton fabric is actually a bit thicker than the pink one. So what I'll do, I'll just see if I can get this to go back down. Because there was another piece of fabric that I just tried as well. And I could rip that up easy off the, off the brown paper. Gosh, that gets hot. Um, okay, so I gave that another one. So I mustn't have done like the corners very well because I'm giving, oh here we go, look, see? If you're going to work it really hard, it will come off again. Alright? <clears throat> but who's to say, like you're going to make... <clears throat> Pardon me. You're going to make a project out of it, so you're not going to just sit there and go like this with what I done with that piece there. Okay, but there is another piece. This one here, uh, I'm not sure what. This fabric might be one of those, the thin calico or something, and it's actually been painted. So, you know, that's sticking really well. I'm giving that a really good hard like oh look and see I got a little bit of the fabric up here and it will rip off after that so okay so the fabric does it does stick but it will rip but see I was really rough with those but just to iron it on the shiny side of the brown paper and then like use that in a project you could always stitch around the edges of it so you've got paper on one um, the paper on the one side the mat and then you've got the material on the other as long as you're not really rough with it like I was with that piece there so where's the other piece I have and these ones here just another little couple of strips of fabric that I had. They, they seem to have stuck pretty good. Um, as long as you're not rough with it, like, but who's going to be rough with it? <laughs> but I wanted you to just to try and show you what it's like. Okay, look, this one here seems pretty well stuck. Alright, now I'm really squishing my fingers and thumbs together really hard and I'm going to try and get one of those corners up to see if it will rip off okay and look that is not coming off so 
that paper is you can actually iron fabric on it too and it's not sticky um, it just feels like I'm trying to think of what it feels like you know like the um, a chip bag, our chip bags that's what it feels like, the shiny side you know how the plastic on the chip bag yeah, so that's what it's like alright, so yeah, you can sew your fabric pieces on there as well um, as long as you're not really rough I'll try and put this piece of fabric on another piece there's another little off cut that I've got here there we go oh, just here right in front of me um, oh no, I won't use that side because my iron's gone on that side and I'm not sure if you can tell the difference but like this side over here where I haven't hit the iron that is really shiny but where the irons hit down here there's still a lot of shine to it but it doesn't have the same feel it just feels a little bit rough over there now where that is really smooth okay so I'll just do just grab another little square here and just redo this was the piece that I pulled off that other one so I'll just put that on there and give it an iron because I was really rough with this one like I really dug my fingers in to try and pick up the fabric off the of that craft paper and it's craft paper spelt with a K K-R-A-F-T and I looked it up online from Kmart here in Australia and it just says craft brown paper that's all it said I couldn't find um, a brand name or anything that's hot that is really hot okay so this one, this cotton fabric was actually a little bit thicker than these ones here that I used. But look, to me, that stuck fine to do a craft project with. This one's a little bit thicker, but yeah, you know, if you're not real rough with it, like I was a minute ago, I'll try and get it up again. Like I'm really having to look there, I got it up then. So it's, I don't think it's really a glue, just you know, because if it was a glue, you wouldn't be able to rip that up. But just having it for just little simple craft projects or even maybe a cover of a journal if you're going to stitch around the edges so that the edges wouldn't lift first I think that'd be fine that'd be just great okay so thanks for the suggestion Sue and that's Sue from Art Craft and Journal Journals she said um, just try some fabric on it so yeah I would say yes if the fabric does work on it I haven't got any really, um, hang on, I've got it, that's a really heavy cotton, I wouldn't even try, that's, um, let me try this, okay, I will, I'll try this, because this is a heavy cotton fabric, and it's a lot heavier than that, that one there, so we'll just see, okay. Alright, so just put them there. That fit on there, yep. Okay, so it's on the shiny side. And put that there. I'm not sure if that fabric has got a front or a back on it either, has it? No, that's right, that must be the top, the front. But I'll try this, okay. This one is like a really heavy cotton, 
fabric. I'm just giving that a nice going over with my iron. see with this one. I'll just let that cool a second It'll stop me from burning my fingers. Okay, well to me that's stuck on there, okay? But if you're going to grow, go to the corner and start to rip it up, I'd say it would rip off there. But that is just that's just so cool anyway. So that's the fabric. That's a heavy cotton. I'm sorry, sewing ladies, I don't know the proper names for these. <laughs> so that that's like a, a thick, heavy cotton. That's a thin one. These two here are thin. And this one is kind of like in between that one and that one. Just for, um, you know, the the feel of it okay all right so yeah there's another one go for it I say go and get some have so much fun I've still got the um, the magazine images sitting here too and they've been sitting there for a good couple of hours so that's awesome I think it's a great idea okay thanks for the suggestion Sue you all have a great night well it's night now for us so day night and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you later. And there's some fabric ironed onto it. Bye, guys.